Hey, today we're going to look at number 31 from the EOG for sixth grade on the North Carolina in the grade test. So this one is about relationships between two numbers. We call that relationship a ratio. On this question, it says in the table right here, the ratio of y to x is constant. When it says it's constant, all it means is that it is proportional, that it is a ratio, that uh, if you went back to zero for one, you'd have zero for the other. So in other words, as we multiply, these numbers will go down the same amount or go up the same amount. So instead of like, uh, a lot of times when we look at these tables, we're trying to um, find the unit rate. But I often would like to look at the numbers I have and see if I can find another way. So for instance, two to five and four to 10. If you made these into fractions, that would be two fifths and four tenths. Those are equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios. So these relationships right here are the same. It's a two to five and a four to 10. Well, if we're finding the missing one right here, well, two will go into 10 how many times? Think about it, five times. So the relationship has to be the same over here because right here with two to four, it goes two times, and then two times five is 10. So from here to here, we have to multiply by the same number just like we would from here to here. Let's make sure about this. Let's make sure that it's all correct. So two times what gives you 18? It's nine. Is nine times five equal to 45? Yes, so the relationship's the same for both of these all the way down. You can also look at it like this. If you multiply the same number by two, you're gonna get this, uh, but the 2.5 times two is gonna give you five. If you multiply that same number across the board, it gives you the same result. But I like to look at it like this. It's my favorite way of looking at it. Um, two will go into 10 five times. That means you're multiplying by five going from two to 10. You have to do the same amount to go from five to this unknown number. So since we multiplied by five going from here to here, we're gonna multiply by five going from here to here. So five times five is 25. Guys and girls, make sure you understand that these relationships right here are consistent. That's why it says constant. The relationship is constant. When it says the ratio is constant, it's saying that the relationship does not change. It's not like two to five, four to 100. It's constant. If you have, if you even add it, if you add two plus two, you're gonna get four, five plus five is 10. All right, so there's a lot of things you can work with these tables. I love these tables. Not only do they organize the information, they also help you to visualize it and to understand what you're looking at. Also, another way you can look at it is sideways, but on this particular question on the EOG, it's a vertical table. They also do them sideways as well, but make sure you check out my other videos for that later. Have a great day, thanks for watching.